Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today it's a quick and simple card. Absolutely love this rain boots and that is flowering rain boots. It is a die set that match this. Boom! We are not using any of the dies today. But I combine this set with the lovely Easter friend for the inside. I feel this is very spring uh, card. And, uh, oops, I got a glare there. And I put the little duck inside with me your day, me your day, I'm sorry, me your day's blooms with joy and happiness. I think that go perfect. Live life in the full bloom with the bloom there and then I think that is perfect. So let's get started. I am using, um, this is watercolor paper. I will have all measurement on my blog. Because I am using, um, it's a photopolymer. I like to have my uh, mat under. It gives a cushion that it's um, stamped better. I'm using Daffodil Delight. And we're going to stamp the boots right here. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp. I like to do all the stamping and then we're going to what I call simple watercolor. We're going to, I'm using Old Olive for uh, the leaves. The other one I use Pierre Pizzas. I was thinking lighter for spring, but I think I want a bit darker. This is going to align perfectly with the boots. See? Boom, boom. Put that here. Perfect alignment. See how simple it is? Love it. Now we got that. Uh, the tulip's going to be with Calypso Coral. And again, that align very simple. That's the beauty about um, photopolymer. We can see, right? Okay, now I use what, this is what I'm calling very simple watercolor. I'm using Pool Party to do a little bit of like, I don't know if it's a puddle of water, but the ground at the bottom. I'm just tapping a clear block on my Pool Party ink. And then, oops, first I want to make sure it's wet, okay? So just make sure your paper it's wet a bit and the reason why I like to wet my paper a little bit it's because the ink gonna flow and if not it's gonna make a darker dot where you start so if you wet your paper first it's gonna blend very smooth so see lighter at the top and then at the bottom I'm gonna go a little bit darker here here we go that's pretty good. Now, I'm just wiping this here. I just colored the boots. I didn't add any other color. I just went ahead and blend the rubber boots here. That is it. So really, I say very quick color wash because really we're not water coloring. We're just doing a wash. Now the tulip, it's the same. Just go very gentle don't add too much water if you have too much water it's going to run i mean it's okay if it runs it's watercolor now wipe your brush like you just squeeze your water and then go if you never play with the um a painter the water painter it's awesome because the water this is the old style we got new style then but it's the same thing the water go in the barrel so then you don't have to have like a bucket of water and so on. So then see, I'm just adding a little bit here. Just brush that in. So I say watercolor. I should say watercolor brush. Because really we're just brushing because we take the ink that we stamp and we just move it around and we get that look of that watercolor. That look amazing, right? Okay, we're going to let that dry. Here on the side, I get a little bit. I went uh, 
I'm just going to brush that a little bit here like a shadow and it won't even matter. Here we go. So I'm just going to leave that there because now I cannot stamp my greeting on top of that till it's completely dry. So let me share with you how I done the inside of the car. So it's a regular size car, eight and a half by five and a half, score at four and a quarter. I stamp my little duck. I call it my happy duck. He's dancing. Whoops. And we're gonna stamp that right inside. Voila. And then we're gonna do the greeting I use in Pacific Point. So we're gonna do the Pacific Point. And the greeting it's from um the duck. So the duck inside it is the Easter friends. Okay. Oops, I rubbed my stamp a little bit. That's okay because my card it's not mounted. So do you know what's gonna happen then? You're gonna flip this this way because I'm gonna be able to put that here. Nobody gonna know, right? So now I can go back, take my duck, stamp it back there, and then go back with my greeting. And then this time I'm gonna make sure I'm not rocking my stamp. Et voila! How simple it is to cover your, oops. Usually I say it's two side to your paper. Don't be afraid to use it. Well, this time, boom. Now this year, I'm looking for my glue. I'm gonna put my layer and all the measurement and the color that I use is gonna be on my blog, okay? Right below you get the link. This is gonna go right here. Now my boots gonna come right here. Now I'm gonna stamp uh, live life in the fullest in the full bloom. When this is completely dry, I still cannot stamp it because it's damp and it's just gonna run. But here it is when it's done. That is it, my friend. I hope you enjoyed this. A very simple way to pretend you watercolor, but you didn't really just add a little bit of brush, right? That is it. Till next time, happy stamping. And all on my blog, you're going to have the direct link to shop 24-7 and also all the measurement and color and product that I use. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye for now.